Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to create a website for your food truck in an instant. So Mighty Sites makes it really easy to make small business websites. All you have to do is go in here and search for your theme. So for this, I'm gonna find food truck because that's the type of business that we're doing today. You can see there's a pre-made template for barbecue food truck, burger food truck, Mexican food truck, and then there's some other restaurant templates that come up too. Now, we're adding new templates all the time. So if you don't see your food truck type there, uh, just pick one of the other templates. You're gonna be able to customize it really easily um, or check back again and see if your uh, business type is in there at this point. But for now, I'll just pick the Mexican food truck template. So we'll click on that, pretend that's what I have. First thing that I do is I enter in, and I should mention, this is only $9 a month. So Mighty Sites is really cheap and easy to create a simple professional website for your food truck. So it's only $9 a month. That includes everything, the hosting, the template, the editor, everything I'm about to show you. So super cool, super affordable, and there's a seven day free trial. So I'm gonna type in here, Keegan's food truck. Let's just say I'm in Denver, Colorado, and then business type, uh, This I'm gonna go with a restaurant. So I'll click continue. First thing I do, put in my, my phone number. So there we go, and I can add my email too and then click continue. And then let's put address, so I can put whatever address um, you know I'm usually located at. Uh, and don't worry, this you can put, if you have a business address too, you can change this and you can actually hide it from the website too. So it's no problem, it's just an address to get you started. So then I'm gonna go over here and let's just say hours of operation. Um, usually my food truck's open from 12 p.m. until 11 p.m. And then again, you can hide or showcase this. Um, if it's relevant to you, fill it out, or you can just click right here, which is what I'm gonna do, skip adding hours for now, uh, because that might not be relevant for your food truck. So once this all looks good though, I'm gonna click looks good next. And now just like that, Mighty Sites is going to instantly deploy a simple professional website for my food truck to get me started. So you can see now the templates here, there are images included that are pre-licensed for me to use. And now it's really, and then if I go like this, you can see that that's uh, mobile friendly too. Um, so I can actually inspect it like this and show you that this, because you're going to want this to work really good, uh, work really well on a smartphone. So if I go like this, you can see it's all geared up to work really well on a smartphone too. Um, which is really nice and exactly what you need. Um, so now, customizing this site is really easy from here. So first thing I can do, update section. If I do have like social media links, I can go in here and I can enter, enter my Twitter. So I'll just enter my Twitter address. And then I can go over here, I can enter my Facebook page. So once I've entered those, and of course you can just copy and paste yours in there. Now you'll see that my Twitter and Facebook show up right here on the site. Now the other thing I can do is I can change the colors. So let's just say that I, you know, bright blue works for me, or maybe more of this earth tone green is appropriate for my business. Um, there's also this red and green. There are all different types of color palettes and themes included here. So you can just pick through and choose the one that you feel like works the best for your business and makes sense for your business type. And once you find the one you really like, you can just save it and close it. And now you've got a, a brand new color theme, color palette for your business. So I'm just gonna click through, let's see which one we wanna go with. I kinda like this blue one. Um, let's just see, there's a, kinda, let's just see which one makes sense. There's kind of a pink one here. You know, but you can you can see, you can play around and there's all different templates that, uh, that, that are being added all the time to and all different color sets as well. So you can just pick the one that works best. I'm gonna go with this one for now. I think it kinda fits with the colors of the background and things that we have here. So once you add your social links, you can go in here, you can update a logo, update your location information if you want. Um, you can also choose to show your email on the website if you prefer. Um, and if you don't want it to show, that's fine too. You can also, if I go to the uh, update section, location, you know, you can delete this too if you just don't, if you just wanna say the city and state then I can save that. Now it just says I'm in Denver, Colorado too, um, because obviously food trucks move around. So then I can go over here to the menu. If I wanna add more menu items, I just simply type in here, uh, whatever it is that the text is, I can choose where it links to my website, another website or a call to action. I can upload a PDF. Once I have those added, I just click add to menu and then I save my menu and I'm all set. Um, for the logo, let's just try and create a simple logo. If you don't have one already, I'd recommend you go to Canva. 
Um, it's a really great tool for just creating a simple logo and then it's really inexpensive too. So if I look for a logo, let's just say, uh, I'll just do Mexican restaurant. And you can see, so there's all these pre-made logos for a Mexican restaurant. Let's just go with this one, this is pretty neat. And then I'm actually going to, let's go with the white background. Um, so uh, Mexican food truck logo. So let's just download this from Canva always as a JPEG because that's a faster loading file for the internet, for websites. So now I'll just browse over here. I'll look in my downloads. Um, here's my Mexican food truck logo. So I'll upload that. And now it's going to be really easy for me to just make this bigger or smaller. As soon as it's uploaded, I click save and there's my logo. Now I can, I can make it bigger by clicking on the make it bigger button. I can make it smaller or I can go in right here and click on the pencil and I can actually edit it, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crop this a little bit. Um, so I kind of to make it fit a little better and get rid of that down there. Um, I could filter it, fine tune it, annotate it. There's all of these logo and image editing tools built into Mighty Sites, which makes it really great and easy to use. So you can see, save the logo. There we go, I think that looks pretty good now. I like the look of that logo. Um, so now you can see, Come right along again if i want to make any further edits maybe i just want to like fine tune it or add a filter i could do that too with the background or change the colors um, but if everything looks good I'll, i can just leave it as is and i think that that works for my site now over here there are three call to actions that you have so you have view our menu get directions and then order online so for this what i would do is in the uh, get directions section you can actually change this so if your food truck's always in the same location or a very similar location you can do get directions but if you if you move around a lot and are always at different locations it might make more sense to upload something else so you might want to go in here and be like um common locations and then just save that action button and then go over here to like a PDF and you could upload a PDF uh, that just talks about where you're commonly located. And then people can just click on that and see you know, your common location. So that might be an easy way to do it. The other thing that you could do um, is if you want to link to another website um, where you're commonly located or anything that has your information on it, you could do that. Or you could just say, you know, click to call and you just say, you know, find us today, right? And then it would be a click to call. And if somebody's looking, they really want to eat at your food truck that day. Now they can call you and just talk to you about where you're located, right? So that's one way that you can use that button. Order online. If you do offer that through Toast or something like that, that can be a really great option. If not, you could always just link this to your menu as well, um, which works uh, pretty well for, for businesses. Or you could do something like um, click to call. So maybe you want people to call us and just find out more. Um, you could just have that link to call you, or you could always, you know, add your actual address uh, on a consistent basis and then have that be the click direct direction. So it all just depends on what you want those to be. And then if I go like this, save. So now you can see, I can also get rid of it too. So if I just prefer, Hey, I don't want to call the action there right now. I'd just rather say something about what we offer, which is authentic Mexican cuisine. I can leave it like that. Um, and then available for parties, weddings, office. So that's that's good to promote too, right? So I can just leave that as is. Uh, find us today will now call me. And then of course, I probably do wanna upload my menu. So I'm just gonna go over here to choose link, PDF, upload a PDF, browse my computer. And I actually have like a, a menu on here just as an example. So I'm just gonna upload this. You would upload the PDF of your menu, of course. I'm gonna click confirm, save, close. And now when somebody clicks on this, they can see our menu right there. And that's the same thing if they go up to the top and they click on menu, takes them right here and they can click on and open the menu uh, for your food drop too. So any of these images you can upload, change, edit, um, really nice, easy way to just create a simple website for your food truck. And now if I go back to stop editing and go back to my site dashboard, I can connect a custom domain um, I can edit any of my location or business information here. I can connect a custom domain. So if I have a domain like through GoDaddy, Google.com uh, or domain.com, anything like that, 
I can just paste it in there and there's very clear step-by-step -step instructions about what you should tell your registrar uh, just to get this domain connected to your Mighty Sites website. And then once you're all done, you can go back and keep editing the site, but jump in there, play around. It's a really easy way. Again, only $9 a month to create a simple professional website for your food truck. And it can really come to life as you add your own specific images and text to it too. So just like that, we've created a simple website for your food truck.